Hey y'all, welcome, welcome to the Andrea Speaks TV. I'm your host, Andrea, back to bring you news and commentary you can use. Listen, I hope you're doing well. I hope your family is doing well. I'm not feeling my best. I'm kind of dealing with like a sinus thing. I don't know if I have a cold. You can probably tell it in my voice. Uh, with that said, I won't keep uh, this video too long. <clears throat> I felt like the topic that I'm going to talk about it's important enough for me to come on and just share a few things with you uh, again let me before I get into my topic I want to say thank you all so much for supporting the channel I am aware that you may not be able to see me as clearly it is night uh, but at least you can hear me and hear the words that I'm saying you know I've done some videos here on the channel um, one video where I talked about the dangers of AI AI meaning artificial intelligence talked about the rise of robots, how robots are replacing human labor. Um, but, you know, I feel like, if you all please share your thoughts in the comments, I feel like um, not enough is being done, or at least based on my research, um, you know, not, a, not enough it seems like it's being done to regulate um, all of these artificial intelligence apps and programs. Uh, that are coming out you know i was looking on the uh, phone you know i was browsing you know the place where you can go to purchase like if you want to add an app or download an app to your phone and um i just happened to be looking at like you know editing programs and a lot of them the words or the letters ai was attached to it um have you all, and I, I talked about this, I mentioned this in one of my uh, videos where I was talking about the concerns, okay, the dangers of artificial, artificial intelligence. Do you all notice, you know, I don't know if you paid attention or not, I brought this point up in one of my uh, most recent videos about artificial intelligence, but are you all realizing it seems like now there's like an AI boom? Okay, I actually saw that uh, referred to in an article I was reading. We are literally, it seems like, um, I don't know what part of the world you in, you're in. you in. I told you I'm located here in the U.S. I'm in the state of Georgia, in the South. But it seems like we are literally, y'all, witnessing, living through an artificial intelligence boom. Okay, what do you mean by that, Andrew? Y'all, they have these programs, okay? Some of them have been around uh, many years. Some of these programs developers have been working on them for many years they may not have been as talked about but now y'all if you you know just check news stories that's a lot of what's being talked about now um this rise of this boom in artificial intelligence so much so y'all um that even school systems okay school districts <clears throat> as i reported you know, there are some concerns because students, you know, they're figuring out, you know, they're they're uh, using technology to help them with homework, uh, write in, you know, in some cases, helping them write papers um, within a matter of seconds, okay? The concern I have is, is artificial intelligence, is it going to... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Is artificial intelligence going to um, outperform or outpace human intelligence, okay? Um, you know, I did a video where I talked about, and you can, you know, do your research on this as well. Some of these programs, um, very concerning because the uh, robot or the artificial intelligence program, what is, whatever is being used, it's actually mimicking or putting out uh, words that exhibit human emotion. It's kind of scary. Uh, you can, you know, do your research on that. Certainly look at some of the videos I have on the channel. I'll probably go back and link some of them at the end of this video. But what does that mean, y'all? Uh, why is all this happening? The questions that I have are, some of the questions that I have are, why is all of this happening now? Why does it seem like there is a boom, okay, an explosion? of uh, artificial intelligence use uh, not only when it comes to apps and software 
but also um, I reported in the state of New York how they're actually using uh, robocops. They're using dogs, robot dogs, to help police the streets of New York. Okay, they're starting in New York. Okay, don't be surprised if it comes to a community near you. Um, they're also using robots to scan vehicle tags. All kind of things, y'all. Um, and it's quite concerning. I would like to know your thoughts on this. Uh, why is all of this happening now? What are they really trying to do? Uh, why are there not... Um, and I say this, but... You know, it could be where... Uh, there is some legislation uh, being introduced to regulate this, but I just may not be aware of it at the time of this video. But why is it that, or is there any regulation on this? Um, it's very concerning, okay? But I would like to know your thoughts. So um, again, artificial intelligence, AI, okay? Artificial intelligence, AI. Why are we seeing a boom in the use of uh, artificial intelligence, in the development of artificial intelligence like never before. You know, another concern I have, and please, uh, please, please, if you're watching this video, uh, please share your thoughts in the comments, okay? Um, do you feel like one day it may be hard to distinguish uh, the truth, what is true and what is not true because of artificial intelligence? You know, I spoke about, and you can do your research on this, but I spoke about the fact that um, around the time when all of that was happening with former President Trump and um, at the time it was uh, talks of him being arrested, indicted, which we know now that has happened. Uh, he's been indicted uh, for that situation uh, out of New York. But, you know, someone using artificial intelligence created some images. They turned out to be false images of him getting arrested. Now, if someone who had not been watching the news or listening to the news, if they had seen the pictures, they would have believed them. They look believable, okay? You can actually do your research on that. But again, another concern I have is, will artificial intelligence lead us to uh, have challenges when it comes to distinguishing between what's real and not real, uh, what information is true and not true, okay? Talk about misinformation, right? Is this tool going to be used to spread what is truly misinformation? Is it going to be hard for uh, humans to distinguish between what is and is not reality? Um, will there be some type of encouragement in even relationships with robots? Is this where all of this is headed? You know, it may be a crazy question, but y'all think about it, you know, with these chat bots and things like that. So. Um, very concerning for people of all ages, okay? Um, that's why I always say if you have a child or children who they use technology, make sure you know what they're, um, what programs they're using, what apps they're using. Um, AI, you know, for many people, they've said, uh, and you can do your research on this as well, just like I have. In many ways, artificial intelligence uh, has served to some degree of benefit. Um, through the use of artificial intelligence, there's been developments in many different fields, including medicine, uh, the studies of different um, different uh, areas of life. Um, through artificial intelligence, uh, many uh, organizations have been able to go to places where humans may not normally go, including space and study and do research. So. There have been some positive outcomes due to artificial intelligence. However, some of the ways that they're currently using it could end up being detrimental to society, in my opinion. But again, y'all, let me know your thoughts. Uh, I appreciate you all supporting the channel. As soon as I'm feeling uh, better when I'm like this, um, my voice may not always be as strong. So as soon as I am feeling better, feeling well enough to um, upload more videos, I'll keep you updated. Please make sure that you check the community tab right here on the channel for updates. And I'll be back with more news and commentary you can use, y'all. I appreciate you. I hope that uh, in some form or fashion, the information that I do share on this channel is beneficial. And again, y'all, I appreciate your support, okay? Take care, be blessed, stay safe, have a blessed week.
Let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right, talk to y'all soon.